Hey everybody, Ann here. It's first thing in the morning. I'm sitting on my porch drinking my coffee and reading comments and whatnot. You guys are great. I'm learning so much from all of you. So after the general consensus has came through on my last video, um, you know, how am I doing <laughs> on insulating my shed, cabin rather, um, I'm going to just proceed with the job. Now I probably won't you know, share every single little detail, you know, show me putting it up and whatnot. Um, because you know what, that can get boring and there's other stuff that I want to share too. So today, you know what, I am craving something really sweet and delicious for breakfast. So I think I'm going to make, hmm, some fancy French toast. Here are the ingredients. Hazelnut spread, which is basically, I don't know, kind of like Nutella. Peanut butter, some eggs, and some bread, and I've got non-fat dry milk. I'll reconstitute that and use that for the batter. Kind of put this all together and see how delicious it's going to be. And I've kind of spread the Nutella on one side. It looks like dog poop. Peanut butter on the other side. Got my eggs all stirred up. And I am going to make one of these for Betty, but not with the chocolate. So, on to the next part. Just melting some ghee, which is clarified butter, in the bottom of this little pan here. And I'm just going to dip the little sandwiches into the egg mixture. I'm going to have to put this phone down. <laughs> Sizzle. Hopefully I didn't mess up. It's been flipped over. I may have to flip it over again. That might not be done. But this is all an experiment for me, so... Hmm. Turned it over again, and that, yeah, that's that's all done. Let the other side finish. I'm going to put Betty's slice in now. This is in, and I believe mine is done. So let's get it out of here. Whoops, it's fogging up. Oh, this is going to be so good. Hopefully I don't drop it. And she does it. All right, let's slice into this. But before we do, I don't think this would be complete unless just a little bit of powdered sugar. Why not? Yum. Oh my goodness. Look at that ooey gooey center and it's crispy crust on the outside. Betty's turned out even better. I used a little bit less egg and if you're going to make this, don't use too much egg on one sandwich. Just dip it in, turn around, dip it around. I mean, uh, I turned my head for a little bit. So there was actually more egg on this and it makes it a little bit more floppier at first, but I'm going to give this a try and see how it tastes. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness. This is the best. Where am I supposed to be looking? Oh, over there. <laughs> this is the best breakfast ever. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Man, this hits the spot. Let's see. Let's see how Betty likes hers. Here, let me grab it. Here you go, girlfriend. You're going to make a mess of it, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I think it's a success. Right on. Nutella, peanut butter, French toast sandwiches for the win. They are delicious. Mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> so good. So give it a try, you guys. It's super easy. Something a little bit different. And it's delicious. <laughs> what do you think, girlfriend? Was that good? Was that delicious or what? I think it was pretty delicious. I know the lighting isn't great in here, but I also did want to tell you that although I can't lift two of these boards at the same time, I separated them and I just wanted to see if I was going to be able to stand one up and put it next to a wall. And yeah, I can. I can definitely do that. It's awkward, but I can lift it. So I put it up there and it looks like I'm going to have to cut some of that off, but that's not going to be a real big problem, right? And... 
Last night I was worried about, you know, resting against this part here because I didn't want to compact the insulation. So I just put another piece of drywall, just shoved it in there, just kind of, it's, I mean, it's, it's real sturdy. It's very sturdy. Um, so that I wouldn't compact the insulation until I'm ready to put the drywall up. So today I'm going to take this down, rest of it maybe if I have the energy, put some more up and just kind of take it from there. Today I'm supposed to do a little door dashing and work on a couple projects and just keep moving forward. And this has been so fun. I mean, never in a million years did I ever think that I would be doing these kinds of things. But I am, and I'm gonna be learning and doing so much more. So hopefully you guys will come on along and keep me straight and just, uh, you know, kind of give me some advice here and there. A book is supposed to be coming in the mail today for my dad on how to do drywall. So I'm going to be reading that cover to cover before I even do the first bit of drywall. You know, of course I got to get the insulation done first. Um, and then there's the planting, the raised beds, or the container garden. There's chickens, like chicken coop has to come first. I've got so much to do and I almost feel like I have like, I don't know, homesteader ADHD. You know, I want to do it all. I, I just want it do it right now and have it happen but I have to do the most important things first and getting this uh, structure all together is gonna be a priority for me um, the good thing is is the roof isn't quite as important anymore because I think we are beyond the really cold days so hopefully I won't have any leaks up there where the staples were I don't think I will I really don't think I will um, and then after that I don't know I have to think about whether I want to start the growing thing or if I want to start the chicken coop thing. So those are on the horizon. Anyway, that's all I got for you all today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.